Okay. Hmm. So we got side quests here. Um, but yeah, so as far as talking to NPCs goes, they usually have exclamation marks. Makes Remaining it kind of strong, easy. Okay, you didn't want to talk with the chieftain? Oh, we will. If we can. I figured I'd grab side quests while we're here. Are these? Oh. Now, found a that ritual Mer was interesting. Merchant. That I knew that that horn was definitely part of the vocal box of one of those machines. Yeah. And they use it as a horn Silence to summon those birds. Yep. I mourn the machines who have been... It's been a while. But Hello. were... Those birds had blue lights. Does that mean that they weren't hostile or did they offer something yeah, in those um, weird so most most of the uh, machines of are non-hostile sort of some are more territorial than others uh but there are many that are not at all there must have been something inside those uh scarecrows that in would interest them though right um i yeah i mean it's kind of like an effigy ish right but i mean why else would they would the birds have an incentive to take them? <laughs> Let's see. I don't really know if any of these are actually worth picking up. I mean, they're probably useful. Part of it is you already got the Yeah, I've got the, the best armor. armor in the game, kind of, sort of. It looks like they also have their own... Um, they have their own resources. Pigments? Yeah. So maps are where I can find different things. Mm. I don't know what pigments are. Pigments might be dyes. Do but you think you can blue dye gleam armor? Is their um, is their money? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm by the daemon. The best gift we can give them is a. I'm stuck on that. All right, whatever. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes, a sudden deluge without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lalai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep in. What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. She's talking about a church. She's talking about an organ. The pipes. Oh. Yeah, so maybe. So Deep Din is a place and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Uh, never mind. Of course, if the waters don't <laughs> recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering. Oh, It's not an organ. If they're banging on them like drums, it must be... Well, they be... might be banging on them like drums. Well, no, 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 no. I'm thinking that it might be something that was never intended to be an instrument. We'll find out. <laughs> and they just made it into one. Sewage. Sewage could very well be. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? None of the southern Unless there was a dam nearby and it just broke. Coulda. But yeah. then they would have known of a lake. No more. Let's see. Unless there was an underground reservoir. Oh. A reservoir would lead into, say, pipes. It's actually pretty good. This armor heals you slowly over time. I think I'd still prefer the shields, because that's a little mm -hmm. bit more immediate. But that does sound good. Alright. Well, here's a question. Can I trade with this guy? About that free advice, Regrant. For you, I'll give it twice. 
But next time, I'll start charging. Uh, oh, no, see you around, Burgrind. Hope so. I, I was hoping I could buy from him, but oh well. Chief's in time. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? This daemon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life, for all Banuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. As long as you've got a skilled shaman on the trail with you, a good hunt means a good harvest. Well, he's a ray of sunshine and a half. Uh, they're, they're definitely the actions speak louder than words type. Yeah. Sekuli's work is strange, but it is hers. She follows behind no other. All right, let's get out of here. We got places to explore, probably. Might have another side okay. quest to get around I here. I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines. I've got to find Araya. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice. Outland, wait, the river north. wait a moment. But that guy wants to talk with you. Yeah, I know. I wanted her to finish talking first. <laughs> that weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified, with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. All right, so that sounds useful for me. Any kind of upgrade I can get is really helpful. Oh, is this how they make their dyes? Uh, yeah, maybe. It's a hot or, water spring. No, that are they dying things or are they just doing laundry? No, they're dying. Mm-hmm. They're dying we'll stuff. Raw at the die cast, That's cool. Still, the hunters complain about the. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the map. We have things to do, places to see. Uh, let's see. So I think those are hunts? I oh, forget. Oh, there's one of those... Uh, oh, merchants. Tall giraffe-like creatures. What's the... Doesn't that give you a map of the entire area if you climb atop one of them? Oh, Banuke goods, regular goods. Okay. The colors of their I'm actually going to go back up here. What are was you... that? Sorry. You didn't listen to me at all. I was sorry. I was dealing with the map. Well, I was saying there is one of those giraffe creatures. If you get it'll to him, reveal you'll the get whole the map, map in the area. Yeah, yeah. So we we want to go for the tall neck first because it'll show us everything. Um. So if you 
Uh, I want to go shopping first, because any... I forget what warmth feels like out here. Any kind of upgrades I can get are good. So that's a Banuk merchant, which I can't trade with, because they have a very specific type of resource. However, there are other merchants around here that I can buy stuff from. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Fortunately, nothing useful here. Nora. So this, she mostly just seems to sell the basic junk. I still find it interesting that everything in this world is like scavenged parts and very crude, uh, you know, wooden hide trappings and stuff. It's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so this lady doesn't have too much. Now let's rob her. Oh, it's been a long day. And all I want is Let me see. So how do we get to this one? Stare into the fire and lose I have no idea. I'm glad we don't have to worry about the uh, fire burning our, our feet. Was that the first instance I've seen children in this game? Or there have been children before? Remember I Banukai. don't know. When the old ones were fresh in their graves and our numbers were still small, it was she who led us through the frozen wastes. We also remember the ravenous tribe. Who delighted in sucking the marrow from our broken bones. Everywhere Banukai and her Werak fled, the ravenous tribe were never far behind. Seeking a way to defeat them, Banukai went into the wastes and let the wind whip her cheeks. And when the cold brought sleep, she dreamt of light. She saw it behind the world, a great calming sheet of icy blue. And she saw something new. Herds of machines, each filled with the same blue light. When she woke, she knew which star to follow. She walked for many days and nights until she arrived at a temple built from sparkling ice. At the gates of the temple, she was met by the machines from her dream, who bowed to her as she entered. Inside, Banukai discovered the blue light, bubbling from a hole in the snowy earth like a spring. You bid me come, she said. My people need aid. Will you provide it? The machines whispered to Banakai. We go where the light goes. For we are its chosen vessels. There is darkness in your heart. It cannot hold the light for long. Carry it to your people if you must. But the cost will be great. Banakai waded into the pool. The light reared like a nest of snakes and struck Banukai, piercing her skin, filling her up. Banukai did not scream, though she was in agony. Banukai did not collapse, though her limbs shook. She climbed from the pool and carried the light inside her. She marched toward home and the machines marched behind her. As she walked, the light struggled to push its way out of her, but the machines were there to aid her. She sewed her body shut with their cables, patched herself with their metal, and kept the light within. When she arrived, the forces of the ravenous tribe had surrounded the camp. Although the light had left her with a thousand wounds, Banukai charged. And because she held the light, the machines followed. The ravenous tribe killed many, but those in camp rushed to join the battle. They gathered pieces of the fallen machines and from them fashioned weapons. And it was with these that Banukai's people repaid the suffering the ravenous tribe had wrought upon them. When quiet descended, Banukai finally fell. The machines bowed their heads and her werak wept. The light she'd held within her drifted from her wounds and rose to the sky. And for just a moment, before life left her, Banukai knew the truth of the blue light. And she felt peace. We remember Banukai. The first to crawl from the cave beneath the world. Who brought the machines to us. When we speak the name of our tribe. We remember her. And we will not forget. I remember the Red Raids. 
They were not so long ago. That was cool. They are not easily found. Yeah, was... Was she... She I've wasn't, like, Aloy, was really she? Was. Aloy? In the old days, no. Able to turn monsters to her will? Oh. <laughs> possibly? Because they talk of the blue light. When you turn a creature, doesn't its lights go from red to blue? Yeah. So you are... And the shamans, they also embed cables into their skin. Yeah, no, you got a point about that. Yeah, good to see more outlanders. We Banuk are too isolated from the other tribes. There is a lot to get through here. Can I not take that rope up? Really? I guess it's a bit fiddly. Okay. So where is this guy? I thought he was by a river, wasn't he? No, or no, no. North? We're here for a specialty merchant. Oh, <laughs> he's further up. How? I don't see Where? any ropes or... Oh, there it is. There it is, yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the specialty merchant has. I'm mostly just kind of looking around. I want to see what cool goodies that I might be able to get. Because, you know, I beat this game with so much. All right, here he is. Uh, you know, tons of money, all sorts of stuff. So I'm curious what I could get. Quite a view you've got up here. It's a useful perspective. How fleeting we are when the world is so wide. From up here, you can see how the light paints across the land. Ever changing. That's a lesson. All our marks will pass. That outlook sounds a little depressing for a painter. Haven't met many artists, have you? Song's Edge needs new stories. I scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew. But a new start needs new colors. Fresh pigments, like none have seen. Did you get that? When she's like, that sounds like a very depressing outlook on the world. And you the haven't met like, many artists. It's like, mm. <laughs> uh, But also the whole, yeah, leaving your mark. Huh. Have you always been a painter? I've always painted. But I wasn't a painter until I was driven out of Banur. Up there, the markings are eternal. They paint over the same lines, the same colors, over and over. As a child, I learned from copying them. As I grew, my heart sank at the familiarity. All of us Banuk might as well be trapped in glacier ice. We have the look of life, but never really moving. These pigments you want. Where should I look for them? Salts gather at the edges of geysers and hot pools. Crystals cling to the rocks and cliffs. It felt like she was going to talk more there. Hmm. The Banuk rock paintings are impressive, but... Um... You want to know what they mean. That's not the right question, but... I'll answer anyway. Some are a call to the machines. The sacred shapes you see on metal casings or on a cauldron door. Do the machines listen to the call? I don't know. Others like mine are a call to the tribe. You could say inspiration or prophecy. And sometimes even men listen if the painting is loud enough. You're on your phone. What are you looking at? I wanted to see uh, other voice actors. Anyway, so she <laughs> I'll see what I mostly doesn't you. have anything. Seek out the vibrant ones. A spring of sudden color among snow or rock or metal. That's its own reward, but I'd reward you as well. Yeah, so we can... Actually, I'm going to talk to her one more time. Okay. We don't have any pigments to trade her. Uh, okay, I can repel down. Is this swing, or is it just... The wood bends with the wind. Lean into it. Lean into it. Sure. Okay, that was neat dialogue. So we can get reward boxes from these. We can also get... Uh, the same stuff. Okay, Figurines so... Figurines and whatnot? Hmm. Yeah, so... We had these I'll in the main game. Mind that you do. You'd find, um... You'd find, like, uh, special, uh, collectibles along the way, and they give you, like, oh, nice stuff for I forgot you could it. do that. Yeah. They don't force you to, uh, move slowly often. When the only sound which is kind of nice. Not entirely sure if I can run down that without taking damage. I mean, I do have shields. But I don't think that's going to prevent me from dying. When the old ones were fresh in their okay, so he repeats, and I think that's that's it for talking to people in town. Let's go. 
Let's go find us a tall neck. There you are. Yep, he's up there. Oh, I'm glad my father isn't around. Because, yeah, we're... We're going to be running around this place for a bit. I'd like to go do the side quests. They, the side quests in this game are actually really good. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just time consuming. And I hated it that it... Uh, well, I like the idea of side quests, but they never fit into the plot very well. They were, all, they were side stuff. And I always just kind of ignored them because I was like, no, I, I want to go do... I, I want to do the plot. The plot is too good. Yeah, if they help work towards the plot or if things converge later. Yeah, but mostly then... it was just pure side, side content. Now, what are you trying to prowl up on? Is that a, a yak, a giant sheep, a goat? Yeah. It's a goat. It's a goat. It's one of those mountain goats. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so... I kind of need the meat from it, but what I really need, um, oh yeah, it's the ones with the very flat, f frontward facing, like, uh, they have the longer snouts. Yeah. Is what I'm getting at. Yeah, mountain goats, but like the fluffy snow variety. Yep, and they have the the tiny he horns got on top. Pretty far away. Yeah, he. Re I mean. Okay. I'm just going to leave them alone. As they say, uh, a hunter loses a meal, prey loses their life. So, of course, it's going to make a run for it. I lost my crafting materials. Oh, is that them? No, those are people. Those are flowers. No. Um, well, that's a flower. Well, do you see the badger rolling along there? Oh, Good. okay. I can use this. Actually. Oh, it's so cute, though. You don't want to hurt a badger. I need badger bones for a thing. Oh, which unfortunately means I might have to kill quite a couple of them. What what quest is it for? Yeah. Um. I think I've actually seen a badger hole. It's rather large. There we go. Yeah, badger. Uh, badger holes are huge, comparatively. I'm always sad that our badgers don't look quite as nice as European badgers. Yeah, our badgers are kind of dumb looking. <laughs> um. Oh, whoa, are those turkeys? Yep, so crafting in this- Turkey, 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 oh. Crafting in this game is- They didn't even run is... away. No. Nutritious. Crafting in this game is cool. Uh, can I- I can't undo any of these. Oh, but I, <laughs> I leveled up. I didn't even I realize. I still find it hilarious that uh, at your parents' house, turkeys would just surround it every morning. And go, grow, 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 all day long. But yeah, I want to get expert carver and stuff. Because unfortunately, bones and like skins and stuff are actually kind of hard to get. Which is annoying because they're used for uh, for like crafting. Don't you have any turkey stories? Um, I, yeah, sorry, I do. I'm just, uh, I was trying to explain what I was... Who was that earlier. teacher of yours that got attacked by a horde of turkeys? Um, I mean... Oh, Blue Gleam. Ah, oh, it's, it's... Wait, it's their energy source. It's like their lifeblood, their veins. Yeah, kind so of, it, but it's a crystal growing... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's almost like battery fluid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, when batteries get messed up. This yep. is something. Okay. I should probably sit up in my chair for this. Yeah, turkeys are stupid. Tur turkeys are stupid and ridiculous. Okay, shock wire. I don't have a rope caster equipped, do I? Oh, it's attacking hunters. Rely on your allies. Rely on explosives. I hope that by defeating this thing, you prove yourself to the... Bene no, hardly. Aw. I mean, you're single-handedly ha taking it out. Yeah. Happens. That ah, missed. There we go. Ow. Ooh. Owie. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, he doesn't have any weak points. Not on that side. On the other side, yes. 
Yeah, unfortunately, he's, um... Great. Un unfortunately, he's... up. Oh, there we go. Got it. Yeah. And there he goes. See if you can talk to them afterwards. Uh, unlikely. Yep, no. can't. Sadly, it doesn't... Wait, really did that, is that, that a person? Way. Yeah, I, I you looted, looted a person. I looted a dead body. Yes, happens. No. Enemies for the trail. Um. Okay. So, dumb turkey story. I have a couple of those. Um. My driving instructor, I think, was the one. Oh. Okay. Um. That got specifically mobbed. But uh, bull turkeys are stupid and aggressive, and if you're bigger than them, you're a threat, and you must be. Uh. You must be. You know, chased away or pecked. If you're smaller than them, you're also a threat and need to be chased away and pecked. They're <laughs> very simple-minded. All the bull turkeys didn't really seem that aggressive around your house. They never really gave a shit around our house. Mm -hmm. Um, But, like, specifically, uh, specifically, we would often uh, hear stories from people that we'd know. Uh, about like how to how to put this, the turkeys would like attack cars and stuff, mm -hmm. and like puff up and like chase them. <laughs> um, had a uh... so my brother's friend roommate whatever. Oh, I'm here. That's not helpful, is it? Can I go over the mountain? This isn't the parking lot story, though, is it? No. I want to hear the parking lot uh, story. I, I'll get to it. I don't remember the parking lot story particularly well. Well, wasn't it that the guy had, you know, actually parked his car uh, at the school and suddenly all these turkeys mobbed the car and started pecking at it and he couldn't run them over or get out? So he just had to wait for them to well, subside? Running. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was a goose story, not turkeys. That was a goose story, not a yeah. turkey story? My driving instructor Aww. got mobbed by turkeys. Um, oh, okay. There were there were a whole bunch of turkeys, and uh, he was. I don't exactly remember how it happened, but effectively they uh, surrounded the car, and he's like, "I should get out and like shoo them away, otherwise we're gonna have to run them over." At which point they more or less just mobbed him, <laughs> and they didn't peck him, but like they chased him away, which scared the bejesus out of him. <laughs> One of my earliest memories was walking along the Erie Canal with my family, and everyone brings bread with them last. to feed to ducks and whatnot, but it was the first time I'd ever seen them on the canal. Uh, usually you get wild varieties of, like, say, Canadian geese or mallard ducks and whatnot, but for some reason, geese, and I mean legitimate, not quite farm geese, but you know the ones that are typically gray, very thick-necked, have the big orange beaks. You know what I mean? With a little bulbous yeah. knot on top of them. So there are about six of them. And they were strutting around like they were hot stuff. And being a kid, I'm like, oh, I've never gotten this close to these kind of geese before. I'm gonna I'm gonna feed them my my bread bits. So they they're appreciative, but then they became greedy. <laughs> and I just started trailing it in front of me and they kept advancing and I was like oh no I was probably five or six years old and I start running back the opposite direction and all of these geese start chasing after me and it was horrifying <laughs> what the but there were too many people around and I think a dog may have scared them or something but or I lost them. It, it's such an old memory. But yeah. And they were doing their whole <laughs> as they were like chasing me. It was terrible. Ah. Have you ever gotten attacked by a goose? Um. Give me a second. I have never personally been attacked by a goose. I have. What uh, animals have attacked you? Dogs. Atomic? What did it take to knock one of those over? They were built to last. Wait, the long neck was toppled? I don't know. Uh, maybe, yeah. She she just said a long neck was taken down. Yeah, well... Uh, what could have possibly done that? Yeah, I know. 
a greater creature? Well, we're heading down there to check it now. It's a level 35 quest-ish. Yeah, uh, so it it's not there at all. We're not going to be able to get the map from it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see, these are open quests. That's not what I'm looking for. Here we are. Tall neck frost figures. If Aloy could repair the great machine, might be able to retrieve the data lost in its head. There we are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh oh. Little prowler bots. That they are. Just stay out of their way for now. Whoa, do they have tendrils or tentacles coming out of their They're ah. shredders, sorta. Interesting. They have guns in their back. Effectively, they're here to re recycle. Now, do they say that the machines were modeled after animals because it was reminiscent of um, the blueprints or the plans oh, for creatures? That's a problem. Ooh, a um, bird? Yeah. Wait, one's stuck in the snow? I... No, that's a busted one. Oh, uh, okay. Bad bird. Bad bird. Okay, these sound effects are great. So the bird is dropping shit on me. It's... Luckily, it's just one of the basic variety. Oh yeah, it is firing projectiles. Yeah, both uh both of these guys are were a problem. I'm just gonna give them a wide berth for a second. Luckily we don't have a stamina meter, just survive. Did you ever have to take tumbling? Tumbling? Oh, yeah. like uh gymnastics? Well, not just for gymnastics, also in the instance that you say do but not vaulting, but jumping during courses. Nope, never really, uh, never really did those. Cause actually, part of our little track segment back in school, we were taught how to jump and roll over one of those. You just call it a jump, wouldn't you? Possibly. I <laughs> dropped it. I'm not. Uh, maybe. You know when you're running on a track and you're supposed to uh, leap. Okay over those little fences in a way. I didn't know Whoa. I could take down a tree. Blasted the tree into oblivion. That's a new one. Okay. I've never done that before. Hurdles. Yeah. Balls. Whoa. More friends. But yeah, we were we were instructed how to do proper rolls. I, I still can't imagine doing so many of them in succession and over rough terrain like this, though. I mean, the snow the snow is nice, but if there's a, a tiny rock underneath that snow, ouch. You know? Yep. Huh. Didn't know I could... <sighs> That's the last of the scavengers. To bash one, one of those. to... Yeah, to sort of. See how deep the damage goes. Okay. I'm sorry. This game is kind of focus-intensive. You can you can talk and oh, sometimes I will hear warrior. you. Yeah. Many. The nuke were protecting it. This tall neck was probably holy to them. 